Good morning everyone, it's Sarah here. I hope you've all had a great Easter weekend and I'm here with a video today for you on behalf of Wild Orchid Crafts as part of their YouTube design team, The Wild Bunch. And over this, the period of the holiday weekend, I've been making uh, handmade books uh, using up scrap chipboard and scrap bits of paper, off cuts of paper, and just combining it into projects with the addition of gorgeous project uh, products from Wild Orchid Crafts. So I'll just take you through uh, the books that I have made this weekend and let you see what I have come up with. Um, the first book that I made was this little book here. And this is... goodness, where's my ruler? Um, here it is. It measures two inches by four and a three quarter inches, this one. And what I did was I took plain photocopy paper and I did the distress inks on my craft mat and just dipped the paper and dried it, dipped it again, dried it, dipped it again and dried it to get this kind of effect here. And that's the binding on the book there. And that's what I've used. And I've also incorporated the lovely heather stems that you can get from the store. Uh, it's just bound with some fibres from my stash. Uh, and there's a little plate here for, for a name or what have you to go on to. Um, so that was the first book that I made. Um, I'll pop that there. The second book that I made was... Now, what one was it? It was this one. And this book is kind of shabby chic styly. You have to excuse the green nail. I was testing out my daughter's new nail polish. So this is three and three quarter inches by three inches. And like I'm saying, it's good to use up your spare chipboard. Um, I do have a tutorial for these books across on Ustream. Um, there are two. There's one on a book that I'm going about to show you. And there's another one on a book that I made maybe a couple of, two, three weeks ago. So this book here, it's just got cartridge paper on the inside and I've got a book plate on the front with some lace at the back and a little cherry boss blossom flower in pale pink and then I've got the moonstone brads and some cameo beige seam binding and you can just see the dimension there. I just popped that up on dimensional adhesive. You can see it peeking out the bottom here. So that was that book that I made. Uh, next one I made was this one, and this is in felt, and this one measures three and three, three and a half by three and a half. And again, I used up some fibres from my stash. If you remember, probably I think it was last year we were all buying loads of fibre. Um, so I covered this book in felt, and I used a sewing machine to stitch around the edges, and then the inside is again is covered in white felt and I just used the pink and shears around the edge and this is watercolour paper that I had left over from making my first book project and then what I've done is I've used the two inch um, daisy bloom flower and that's not liking to focus is it? Uh, the two inch daisy bloom flower and I used yellow and orange mist sprays um, to get this effect and it just bleeds through. If you dip the tips in it'll soak through and again if you just put a spot in the middle you'll get the colour coming through. And then I, again I used two of the 50mm uh, green and cream rose leaves. I love these. Um, and then another little sweetheart bloom in the centre. So that was that book that I made. And then I made something a wee bit different. I decided to make a postcard book. Um, the back is bound in Prima Botanical paper and we've got some sky blue seam binding on the end as the binding for the book. Uh, a bit of vintage ephemera here and we've got three of the sweetheart blossoms and these, this is light lilac or pale lilac tones for this one and again I just put a little stamp but I covered this in acrylic paint and then I just dry brushed some latte paint around the side. Um, and put some stickles on the, the address lines and the line coming down here. And again, in the centre, I just put some cartridge paper in there that I had lying around. So, again, these would make great gifts. 
and they don't really take that long to do once you get the knack of the binding. Um, and then this is the one that I've got the tutorial on. I made this yesterday and it was funny because I kept getting it wrong. Um, but that's what tutorials are all about, all about. I just leave the bloopers in. I don't stop recording. I don't edit. You just, what you see is what you get with me. Um, so with this one, I used some fabric that my daughter gave me for Christmas. She gave me a fat bundle of fabric. So I decided to cover the book. And this one is stitched around the edges, if you can see that. And then I used some green seam binding for the binding again. We've got another book plate and we've got two of the wild tea roses and a little pink tipped leave at the bottom here and a little pale peach 10 millimeter foundation rose in there. And again, I used the green moonstone brads to go on there. Now the inside of this book is slightly different because what I did was I used up scraps of paper. So it's very kind of smash kind of booky this one. Um, this is just a plain piece of cream cardstock at the front and then you've got a floral piece here that you could maybe mount a photograph on and do a bit of journaling on the back and then we've got pink cardstock, leftover papers, more of that pink, um, more cardstock, then we've got a little piece in there. This is all stuff that was left over from Valentine's Day. Um, a bit of sassafras last paper, some cardstock, more paper. You know, I've just kind of chucked in big enough bits that could go in all different sizes just to use it up. And again, keeping up, up with my use it up pledge that I took for 2012 uh, to, to use up my stash and stuff. So that's, I keep thinking I've lost one. Did I make another one? Oh, I did. I made another one yesterday. But, uh, let me see if I can find it. Um, it doesn't have any Wild Orchid craft products on it, but it's a nice wee book, so I'll share it with you anyway. This is another one that I made. This is tiny. It's dinky. And uh, what measurement is this? It was just a tiny one. Three and a half by two and a half. And what I did was, again, I used the spray technique on my mat and then I just dipped the paper in, dried it, dipped it, dried it, and what have you. Uh, and then I um, adhered it to some chipboard and mitered all the edges. Um, this is covered in Claudine Helmus matte, uh, not matte medium, but gloss medium. It's the first time I've really used it on a project, so you can see the shine. I did use it to stick the paper to the chipboard, but I, I didn't get as good a hold as I got with the the matte medium with the gloss so I might not use that as an adhesive anymore and just use it to to you know glossy over so what I did was I used some old fiber uh, just to bind the, the book and then I used a couple of beads now I hold it that way you've got a lamp work bead here and a stone bead here um, and again these were from a thrift store find and uh, and they just set this project off nicely. So that was all the books that I made this weekend. Um, I'll leave a link below in the description for my Ustream channel so that you can get a wee nosy at the tutorial and who knows, you might even fancy making your own wee book after you've watched it. Um, and don't forget to head over to Wild Orchid Crafts YouTube channel to see what the other girls are, are designing and making for you. And also visit their website, which is www.wildorchidcrafts.com um, to pick up some of the products. Um, I did go over there at the weekend and uh, they've got some really nice colours of the heather, which I'm going to pick up. So have a great rest of your holiday weekend. Today's my last day off. I'm back to work tomorrow. And, uh, and I'll see you all next week with another project. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye for now.